Ulster English, also called Northern Hiberno English or Northern Irish English, is a major variety of Hiberno English spoken in most of the province of Ulster. It is spoken throughout Northern Ireland. The dialect has been influenced by Ulster Irish and the Scots language, the latter of which was brought over by Scottish settlers during the plantation of Ulster and subsequent settlements throughout the 17th and 18th centuries. The two major divisions of Ulster English are Mid-Ulster English, the most widespread variety, and Ulster Scots English, spoken in much of northern county Antrim along a continuum with Ulster Scots. Southern Ulster English is a transitional dialect between Mid-Ulster English and Southern Hiberno English. <laughs> Phonology in general, Ulster English speakers declarative sentences with typical grammatical structure, i.e. non-topicalized statements end with a rise in pitch, which is often heard by speakers of non-Ulster English as a question-like intonation pattern. The following phonetics are represented using the International Phonetic Alphabet IPA. Topic: Vowels. Topic: In the following chart, UE refers to Ulster English, which includes Mid-Ulster English which may incorporate older, more traditional Mid-Ulster English, as well as Ulster Scots English. SSIE here refers to a mainstream, superregional Southern Irish English, used in the chart for the sake of comparison. Other, less overarching features of some Ulster varieties include Vowels have phonemic vowel length, with one set of lexically long and one of lexically short phonemes. This may be variously influenced by the Scots system. It is considerably less phonemic than received pronunciation, and in vernacular Belfast speech vowel length may vary depending on stress. And, distinction in cot and body versus cot and body is mostly preserved, except in Ulster Scots which here follows Scottish speech and traditional varieties. E, may occur in such words as beat, decent, leave, Jesus, etc., though this feature is recessive. Lagan Valley before, k, in take and make, etc. Before velars, as in sack, bag, and bang, etc. Merger of a, a, in all monosyllables, e.g. sam and som, sa m tilde sm, the phonetic quality varies. Is possible before, r, in floor, whore, door, board, etc. Vowels are short before, p, t, tf, k. Ulster lengthening, which refers to the use of long allophones of, e, a, in any single syllable word that is closed by a constant other than p, t, t, f, k. Topic. Consonants. Topic. Roticity, that is, retention of r in all positions. Palatalization of k in the environment of front vowels. L is not vocalized except historically, usually clear as in Southern Hiberno-English, with some exceptions. Unaspirated, p, k, between vowels in words such as pepper and packet. Voiced, d, or tapped, for, t, between vowels in words such as butter and city. This is similar to North American and Australian English. Dental, t, and, d, for, t, and, d, before, r, in words such as butter or dry. Dental realizations of, n, l, may occur as well, e.g. dinner, pillar. This feature, shared with Southern Hiberno English, has its origins in English and Scots. With contrast in which which. This feature is recessive, particularly in vernacular Belfast speech. Elision of d, in hand, hn, candle, kanl, and old l, etc. Elision of b, in sing, thimble, finger, etc. Theta, and, for th. X, for gh is retained in proper names and a few dialect words or pronunciations, e.g. lock, trough and shoe. Topic. Grammar derived from Irish or Scottish Gaelic Topic. The morphology and syntax of Irish is quite different from that of English, and it has influenced both Northern and Southern Hiberno-English to some degree. Irish has separate forms for the second person singular to and the second person plural sibh thou and ye respectively in archaic and some intimate informal english ulster english mirrors irish in that the singular you is distinguished from the plural you 
This is normally done by using the words use, usins or yis. For example, Are yous not finished yet? Did usins all go to see it? What are yis up to? Irish lacks words that directly translate as yes or no and instead repeats the verb in a question positively or negatively to answer. As such, Northern and Southern Hiberno-English use yes and no less frequently than other English dialects. For example, Are you coming home soon? I am. Is your computer working? It's not. This is not necessarily true in Ulster English where I for yes and na for no are used, probably a Scottish influence. The absence of the verb have in Irish has influenced some grammar. The concept of have is expressed in Irish by the construction ag at may me to create a gam at me. Hence, Ulster English speakers sometimes use the verb have followed by with me, on me. For example, Do you have the book with you? Have you money for the bus on you? Topic. Vocabulary Topic. Much non-standard vocabulary found in Ulster English and many meanings of standard English words peculiar to the dialect come from Scots and Irish. Some examples are shown in the table below. Many of these are also used in Southern Hiberno-English, especially in the northern half of the island. Furthermore, speakers of the dialect conjugate many verbs according to how they are formed in the most vernacular forms of Ulster Scots, e.g. driv instead of drove and driven as the past tense of drive, etc. Literary Scots drave, driven. Verbal syncretism is extremely widespread, as is the northern subject rule. <laughs> Mid-Ulster English the speech in Southern and Western County Donegal, Southern County Tyrone, Southern County Londonderry, Northern County Fermanagh, North County Armagh, Southwestern County Antrim and most of County Down form a geographical band across the province from east to west. On the whole, these areas have much more in common with the Derry accent in the west than inner city Belfast in the east. This accent is often claimed as being the standard Northern Irish dialect as it is the most widely used. Parts of the north of County Monaghan an area centered on Monaghan town and known as North Monaghan would roughly fall into this category, but only to a certain extent. Bundaran, a town at the southern extremity of County Donegal, also has quite a Western Ireland accent, as do parts of the southwest extremity of County Fermanagh. <laughs> Belfast and surroundings the broad, working-class Belfast dialect is not limited to the city itself but also takes in neighbouring urban areas in the local vicinity such as Lisburn, Carrickfergus and Newtownards, as well as towns whose inhabitants originally came from Belfast such as Craghaven. It is generally perceived as being associated with economically disadvantaged areas, and with youth culture. This however is not the dialect used in the media even those outlets which are based in Belfast. Features of the accent include several vowel shifts, including one from a to before or after velars, b for bag. Nowadays, this shift largely only happens before k, so pack and peck are homophones as peak. The Belfast dialect is now becoming more frequently heard in towns and villages whose inhabitants would have traditionally spoken with a distinctively rural accent. Examples of such areas are Moira, Ballyclare, Dromore, and Ballynahinch. It could be said that many young people in these areas prefer to use the more cosmopolitan city accent, as opposed to the local variant that their parents or people in other areas would use. Other phonological features include the following. Two major realizations of e are to be encountered in open syllables a long monophthong near, but in closed syllables an ingliding diphthong, perhaps most typically e, but ranging from to i. Thus days dz and days des are not homophonous. In Belfast, and in Mid and South Ulster, the opposition between and is better maintained than in other parts of Ulster, though it is restricted to only a few environments, e.g., that of a following voiceless plosive. Thus stock Saint -tilde, Saint -tilde -sta -k is distinct from stock Saint -k. 
However, this is complicated by the fact that certain words belonging to the standard lexical set thought have, rather than the expected. These typically include draw, fall, walk, and caught. Water often has a the trap vowel. The a phoneme is pronounced in most of Ulster, but in Belfast it is extremely variable and is a sensitive social marker. Pronunciations with a relatively front first element, or fronter, are working class. Middle class speakers prefer back, or even. The second element is tilde y tilde, often with little or no rounding. How and now may receive special treatment in working class Belfast speech, with an open first element a tilde, and a second element ranging over i tilde, a retroflex approximant, and zero, i.e., there may be no second element. Some of the vocabulary used among young people in Ulster, such as the word spied, is of Belfast origin. Topic. Dairy and surroundings Topic. The accent of Derry City, which is also heard in northeastern County Donegal including Inishowen, and northern and western County Tyrone including Straban. There is a higher incidence of palatalization after K, and its voiced equivalent, e.g., K, Kyar, for car, perhaps through influence from southern Hiberno-English. However, the most noticeable difference is perhaps the intonation, which is unique to the Derry, Letterkenny and Straban area. The accent of the Finn Valley and especially the Lagan district centered on the town of Raffo, both in East Donegal, together with the accent of neighboring West Tyrone and the accent of the westernmost parts of County Londonderry not including Derry City, are also quite Scottish sounding. A variety of Ulster Scots is spoken in these areas. This West Ulster variety of Ulster Scots is considered to be quite similar to the Scots spoken in Ayrshire in southwest Scotland. Topic. Ulster Scots English Topic. This region is heavily influenced by the historic presence of Scots and covers areas such as northern and eastern County Antrim, the Ards Peninsula in County Down, the Lagan District in County Donegal and northeastern County Londonderry. The strong Scots influence is noticeable in those districts and Scots pronunciations are often heard. People from here are often mistaken by outsiders as Scottish. This area includes the glens of Antrim, where the last native Irish speakers of a dialect native to what is now Northern Ireland were to be found. It has been stated that, in the written form, Gaelic of this area continued to use standardised Irish forms, while the spoken dialect continued to use the Scottish variant, and was in effect not different from the Scots Gaelic of Argyll and Galloway. In the 1830s, Ordnance Survey memoirs came to the following conclusion about the dialect of the inhabitants of Carmony, East Antrim. Their accent is peculiarly, and among old people disagreeably, strong and broad. The results of a BBC sociolinguistic survey can be found here. East Donegal also has a strong Ulster Scots dialect see below. Topic. South Ulster English Topic. South Armagh, South Monaghan, South Fermanagh, South Donegal, North Leitrim, and North Cavan natives speak their own distinct variety of English. Areas such as southern and western County Armagh, central and southern County Monaghan known locally as South Monaghan, northern County Cavan and the southern strip of County Fermanagh are the hinterland of the larger Mid-Ulster dialect. The accent gradually shifts from village to village, forming part of the dialect continuum between areas to the north and midlands as it once did in Gaelic. This accent is also used in North County Louth located in Leinster and in part of the northern strip of County Leitrim in Connacht. There are areas that show a mixture of accents with Ulster English and Hiberno-English. These areas fall along the east coastline. South Ulster English's phonology is markedly different from Ulster Scots and majority Ulster English in several aspects, including preservation of dichotomous pattern of phonemic vowel length seen in Middle English. Another feature of South Irish English is the drop in pitch on stressed syllables. A prominent phonetic feature of South Ulster is the realization of t as a fricative with identical characteristics of the stop, i.e. an apico-alveolar fricative in weak positions. Topic. See also Topic. Ulster Scots Ulster Irish Languages of Ireland Hiberno-English 
Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Bibliography. Topic. Wells, J. C. 1982. Accents of English II, The British Isles. Cambridge University Press 1986. ISBN 978-0521285407 Further reading External links Atil Asd, a glossary of Mid-Ulster vocabulary at BBC Northern Ireland South West Tyrone dialect, South West Tyrone dialect